Hey friends, welcome. My name is Angela and today I want to talk to you about how to avoid injury and increase the longevity of your playing career and the three core problems that stop musicians from getting there, okay? So I'm gonna be going off this little model. Our goal as musicians, our goal is basically fitness. I think that's just the easiest way to say it. So I'm gonna walk you through my little model here. I have terrible handwriting, so please forgive me. I'm gonna try to make this uh, as simple as possible, but the deal is um, I don't have a great setup to shoot a video like this, and I don't know how to how to, how to write it out in a simple way uh, like I can screen share and stuff because I'm using paper and pen. So <laughs> you just have to bear with me. But the, uh, the, the, that's not the point. Tech isn't the point. The point is the knowledge that you want, and you want to know how to avoid injury and increase longevity of your playing career, right? So if you think about it, actually musicians have one of the highest injury rates of any profession. Any profession. We have up to 90, maybe even 93% of musicians are injured as a direct result of playing an instrument. Injured or have playing related pain. This is not okay. You know, I mean, if you think about all the musicians you know, nine out of 10 of them are having an ache, a pain or an injury and they're probably not talking about it. On the other hand, we also, <clears throat> we either don't talk about it, we either accept it, that it's just part of the job, it's not, or we don't talk about it because we're afraid that uh, somebody won't hire us, we're not hireable, we are less of a musician, bunch of BS that is. So let's deal with this. Nine out of 10 of us, that's almost all of us. Every presentation I've ever given on strength training for musicians, 90% of the hands go up when I say how many of you have been injured or how many of you have experienced playing related pain, right? So you just think about it. You hold, I'm a flute player. So you hold your instrument this way, right? I never hold it this, this way. You never do it that way, right? You only hold your position, your instrument in one way. And even if you are uh, a musician who spends a lot of time at the soundboard, same thing. You are always this way, right? You're never this way, or you are in one direction. Okay, so you take that instrument, that posture times how many day, how many hours a day do you practice? How many hours a day do you play? Times how many hours a week? Times years? Times decades? This is why it's important to prevent injury because just because you don't hurt now doesn't mean you might not hurt later. And that's not okay because playing related injury, pain can lead to injury and injury can lead to a loss of your career. And I am not over-exaggerating. How many musicians do you know that have literally stopped playing because they hurt and they didn't know what to do about it, they just quit. Not okay, so here's what we're gonna do to fix it. So our overall goal, we'll call it fitness, right? Injury avoidance and longevity of playing career, right? You want, to be lo you want to play longer, be stronger, have lots of stamina. And those are our things. What are the things that we want? We want to, we, here are the things that we don't want. We don't want injury. We don't want a lack of stamina. I, wow, I have terrible handwriting, see in a minute, I'm sorry. So we don't, the three things we don't want. Injury, we have a lack of stamina. And let me talk about this for just one second. When I say lack of stamina, I don't mean that you've always had a lack of stamina. You know, when you first started playing, you played maybe a half hour, 20 minutes a day, every other day. Then it went to 30 minutes a day. Then it went to an hour a day. Then it went to a couple hours a few times a week. Then it went to hours a day, right? Because you love what you do. Let's talk about COVID, okay? Two things, when I say lack of stamina, COVID gave us this beautiful break. How many of us needed that break? I did. Uh, it was nice, right? But it's been what, almost a year at this point. This is January, 2021. The world shut down in March, right? It's been almost a year. And if you haven't been practicing or playing as much as you were, when the gigs come back, and they will, are your, is your body gonna be at that level that it was? My guess is no, because if you get that gig tomorrow, like, hey, can you play a session and get, you might be recording for seven hours? Or, hey, can you play a show? Can you play a concert? Hey, we're going on tour. 
Are you just going to show up and expect to play at the same level you were? Maybe. And that is scary because if you cram, you have two options. You can just show up and hope or you can cram. Both of those will lead to injury because the body has to acclimate to the position that you're going to be in and the amount of time you're going to be in that. You don't think about, baseball is my favorite uh, analogy for this. So you think about a, uh, a baseball player. Um, they have an off season, right? Do they just sit around in the off season? No. And I'm not saying any of you guys did. There are a lot of musicians who did. There are a lot of musicians who kept up their performing schedule. They did live streams. They even practiced more maybe. But if we don't take time off, there's gotta be a balance, right? So we'll call this pandemic our off season. How did you spend your off season, okay? So when you have a professional athlete, they train during their off season to be at peak performance when the season gets underway. They don't wait until the season starts to get to that level, right? So if we don't have the stamina we need, if you don't have the stamina you need to play a tour or to play a concert or to play a show or to do a gig or a recording session or a wedding, uh, then if you accept that, that job offer, that gig, you might be asking for injury because you haven't prepared your body for that. So that's what I mean by a lack of stamina. Okay, the third thing is we're clueless. Anyway, I have to hear what we're writing. And when I say clueless, what I mean is, well, okay, so you get this pain. Let me guess where your pain is. Right about here, shoulder, right behind your shoulder blade. We call this our shoulder, right? Who has pain here? Who has pain up in here? Who has pain here, 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 low back? All kinds of places, right? Where do you go when you hurt? You don't know. What do you do when you start to hurt and you notice, you finally notice, oh my gosh, it's related to my instrument. It only happens when I play for X amount of time. And now I, I have to play less because it hurts. And then I play less. And what do you do, right? We're clueless. We don't know who to ask, where to turn, or what programming to do or to not do. So I do fitness for musicians. So when it comes to strength training, what's appropriate? Should you do the 300 workout? Should you do the insanity workout? What about during the pandemic when we did all those, <laughs> how many people got a whole bunch of workout equipment and just did whatever looked fun on YouTube? How'd that work out? Musicians are special athletes. Don't let anybody tell you you're not an athlete, okay? Your, ath your athleticism goes on for decades, probably most of your life. Most professional level athletes in pro sports have a very short career. We are pro level athletes that our, our, our careers span decades, right? But what happens when you get that little bit of twinge and that twinge turns into a constant and then you just try to shove it at the back? We don't know who to talk to. We don't know what to do. We don't know what's appropriate or what's not, where to turn, any of that, okay? So I'm gonna teach you what to do about. Those are the three core things we're worried about. Injury, whether it's new or recurring injury, a lack of stamina, and clueless about what to do, right? Okay, so what are the things that we want? I'll show you. <laughs> I'm so low tech. I could just like draw it while we're going here, but you know, whatever. So the things that we want, if you have a lack of, ins uh, a lack of stamina, you want endurance, right? So if we're going through a lack, if we have a lack of stamina, we want endurance. We want to be able to play. You, you, when it comes time to play, you just want to play, right? You don't want to think about X, Y, and Z. You don't want to think about, did I do this? Do I have that? Is my body going to hold out? Am I going to be able to play? Is my finger going to go numb? You just want your body to work, right? You expect it to work. We take it for granted, but there are ways that you can increase your stamina. And I'm going to get to that in a second. So the next thing, well, actually, I'm going to go through it. So uh, these are the things we're going to go through here. These are the things. So we have a lack of endurance, lack of stamina. What we want, we want endurance. These are the three things that what to do about it. So what do you do? Number one, and some there's a little bit of overlap in this here, okay? You have to correct muscle imbalances. And I really wish I had better handwriting, which you have to bear with me here. We need to correct muscle imbalances. That is the crux of what I do as a uh, 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 fitness <laughs> like as a, as a fitness trainer for musicians. 
I'm a strength training specialist, a corrective exercise specialist. So what I do is I take a look at how you play myself. Put in case here. So if I play flute and I've been playing for 25 years, to the side, look, my left arm comes in front. My right arm is to the side. It's totally different. If I did this, it would look totally different. Can you see what's going on? So we've got shortened muscles here, stretch muscles here. So I've had several different injuries. Number one was tendonitis, overuse, too much this. I went from a couple hours a day to eight hours a day for eight weeks. Terrible idea, right? But that's kind of the norm, isn't it? 16 years old. Too much here, not enough strengthening, not enough strength endurance here. And they just, they got inflamed and overused and didn't know what to do, right? So I got tendonitis. Second one, um, the second injury, I actually tore this muscle right here. Think about it. This left arm comes forward. This is stretched, this is tight. I was in the gym and I was actually doing a dumbbell bench press. It's probably the worst thing that you could do, but I didn't know. I also didn't know what good form was, which is another thing you need to know. It's good form. And so basically I exacerbated the problem. So I was already over tight, already like overworking this muscle, was not bracing and didn't have any kind of stability here or strength. And that muscle just quit. It said, I can't be stretched anymore. And it tore. Third injury, same kind of issue. This muscle here was super tight. This muscle and my shoulder. Back spasms back here. I was cramming for a piccolo audition. Couldn't put my arms down. That sounds funny, but here's the deal. I'm a piccolo. It's small, right? So when you play, look where my arms are. They're not out like that, like they were. So I couldn't put my arms down. I started playing too much, too often. And the doctor told me I actually had a muscle imbalance. And <laughs> this is where it gets scary, y'all. They said, he said, well, you have a knot right about here. And ordinarily, because yours is so severe, ordinarily what I would do is I would give you a cortisone shot right in the middle of it, which would cause it to calm down, and stop the spasm in your back. The problem is it's right over your heart. That'll probably kill you. And I don't think that you want that. He went, excuse me. He goes, well, uh, I'll give you some cream, just rest and relax and you should stop playing. He went, I'm not gonna give up my career for that. He didn't offer me any kind of anything, right? So that's what I mean by muscle imbalances, okay? Front to back, side to side, the what, you, what you do as a musician that causes that, right? So next thing, to increase endurance. Um, so we need a daily prevention and stamina plan. It comes down to a plan. You need a corrective exercise, an exercise plan. It doesn't have to be really long at all. Just something short that addresses your individual muscle band balances. Because I could have 20 flute players in here and a lot of their things will be the same. I guarantee you every one of them will have something different. So just because you play a certain instrument doesn't mean your muscle compensations will be the same but they could be close and a lot of them will be similar. So you need a specific program for you to correct those imbalances and something that you can do every day to just keep you doing what you're doing. So think about it, think like a soccer player. How many times do soccer players get hamstring injuries? Oh my gosh, all the time, right? Because they're running. That's what they have to do. They have to run tons to play, right? So when they pull a hamstring, it's not if, it's when. They get rehabbed, they get strengthened, and then they get sent back out. What does the athletic trainer do? What do the coaches do? They make them stronger. They make them better at their game, but then they also make them stronger so that they can go out to continue to, they're going to continue making those muscle imbalances happen, but then we come back and we train so that you can go out and do what you love to do, but we still have some kind of daily corrective that will help mitigate those risks so you can continue to do what you do. Not only are we doing that, we're also gonna increase the stamina of those muscles that have to hold that instrument. So if I'm here, right? So I'm holding my piccolo here, I've gotta increase the stamina of this shoulder muscle so it can, it can stay up, right? Um, so there's, there's some things that when it goes into how you play your instrument, you have to be able to have the stamina to hold your instrument. And you don't just go from zero to three hours in one go. It's a gradual process and it starts with daily small stuff that you can do. 
Third thing, third thing to increase endurance. You need a workout that increases strength and endurance. So basically I was just talking about, you needed a, a daily, uh, I can't read my own handwriting, a daily preventative stamina plan, right? Right here. But then you also need a workout that's gonna help you. These are the things to go from, if you do these things, you get this, avoid this and get here, okay? So you need a workout plan that's gonna increase your strength and endurance, okay? That's not just something that you get out of some random canned program that you got off YouTube or wherever. Those things can help, but if you've already got muscle imbalances caused by the nature of your instrument, the person who wrote that program doesn't know you, they don't know what you do, and they might end up causing a worse problem. You might get, how many of us have gotten injured from a YouTube video? Because they're just doing it for general population the masses. They don't have to, they don't take into, account what you do. So if you're a musician doing a million push-ups, it's probably not a good thing. Have you noticed punchy shoulders because of that? That's what I mean. Okay, so we're gonna move on and we're gonna go to the next thing here in the last month. Okay, here we go. All right, so injury, let's talk injury. What do you wanna be? You wanna be, you don't want new injury. You don't want recurring injury. What do you want? You want to be injury free, right? And what are the three things that you need as a musician to be injury free? Well, I'll tell you the number, number one, the number for, I almost said the number first thing. The number one thing you need first, you need awareness. So you need awareness of your body. You need awareness of pain and injury and things like when you play, did you notice when that little bit of pain started? Do you notice when you got sore, or tight or stiff or whatever? Know that being aware of your body overall, every day while you're driving, while you're typing, while you're eating, while you're in the shower. When, you, when you're at the computer, do you always sit on one foot? Or when you're at the mixing board, do you tend to lean forward? Do you jut your head out? Do you, when you drive, does your head touch the back of the headrest? Awareness. And awareness is huge, and we're going to definitely deal with that. So the next thing you need to be injury-free, besides awareness, you need prevention, okay? <laughs> and some of these actually, some of these go together. So there's some overlap here, obviously. So we've got prevention. You need to, you need to prevent injury. You, but you don't just need strength, you need mobility. In the, in the muscles that are tight, we need rest and relax. We need mobility in tight joints and tight places. We need corrective strength on the weak muscles, okay? Which leads me to my third point, we also need strength. So the three things you need, you need awareness of your body, you need prevention, so you need mobility and corrective stuff in those areas of conversation. And then your entire body needs to be strong. You need endurance in those muscles that help you play. You need endurance in your breathing muscles. You need a strong core. Don't forget your legs. Never skip leg day, right? No, really, you need, you need your legs to work. I mean, think about drummers. If you're a drummer, don't you use your legs for so much? You sit a lot, so your hips are flexed. What about your glutes? What about your low back? The body doesn't work in isolation, okay? It works as a whole. So you can't just deal with your wrists or your neck. Your whole body has to be strong. And when you have a program that encompasses all those things, my gosh, you're gonna get through all of it and you're gonna be able to play longer, stronger and pain-free with no problem. All right, so last thing, what do we need? We're clueless, right? <laughs> what do we need? If you don't wanna be clueless, what do you need? You need clarity and guidance, okay? Think about the last time you hired a coach. And I'm not even talking about, this is backwards, isn't it? Ah, that's right. So think about the last time you hired a coach. I don't care if it was a soccer coach for your kid, if it was a private lesson teacher for you, if, if it's Duolingo to teach you how to speak another language, right? The last time you hired a coach, why? Because they knew something you didn't know and you wanted to know, and they knew they had a plan that would teach you how to get there and they led you through it, right? That's what a coach does. That's what I'm gonna do. So.
So you're, if you need clarity, you need clarity and guidance to be able to know what to do. So when you have, um, you've got this awareness now, you've got a little something back here. What do you do? You need to know what to do. Clarity and guidance is what you need. So thinking on that, what is it that you need? This might be something you haven't thought of before, but you actually need to know about your body. You need a little bit of knowledge of your own anatomy. So this, this goes into body mapping a little bit. If you've ever heard of body mapping, but you've never done it, uh, I, I can go down a big tangent here, but long story short, when I ask someone, well, where does it hurt when you play? And they say, I have shoulder pain. Point to your shoulder right now. Did you point to here? 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 Did you point to, this is not all your shoulder, okay? There are different muscles and I wanna teach you which muscles those are. So, so you'll know if you have a specific point that's like, oh, that hurts. Oh, that's my shoulder. Actually, no, it's not my shoulder. Oh, that's because I shrug. Oh, it's I shrug on the one side. That's this guy. And then you know what to do about it, right? Again, you can make, what else do you need? You need a plan. So you need, you need to have a plan to know. Once you have that awareness about your body and you understand how you work and the muscles that you have, the, bone, the bones, the joints, the ligaments, the muscles, the kinesiology. This doesn't have to be crazy, crazy in depth and, and all the things that you need to know about your entire body. I'm not a doctor, you're not a doctor, we don't care to be doctors, but well, maybe you're a doctor. Actually, a lot of you probably have your doctorates in music. I apologize, that's not what I mean. I mean, you're not an MD, right? As musicians, we wanna play, but you have to know how your body works so that when that, oh, that hurts. Hey, wait, give me a sec. Oh, you know what? I bet my posture is doing this. Let me, hey, there we go, now I fixed it. You wanna know what to do. You also need a plan for how to fix it. And yes, that goes back to what we were talking about with that corrective plan, with the prevention plan, with the strength, tra strength training, all those things. But you also have to know how your body works. And you have to know the anatomy a little bit. You don't have to remember it's the levator scapulae and you know, that's an AE and then the Latin. It's, you don't have to know that. But if I say, where's your shoulder? You say you have shoulder pain and you point to, Actually, it's my medial delt, it's my lateral delt right here, this is where it hurts, or it's the subacromial space. Did you really need to know that? No, but you can point accurately to what you're talking about. And you know that it's the space between those areas, or maybe it's this muscle or it's the shrug muscle. When you understand how your body works, you are empowered to take care of you. That leads me to my final one. So you need clarity and guidance, right? But third one, what if you can't fix yourself? I can't fix you. What if you don't know where to go, who to turn? That's the third piece of that puzzle. You need to know who to ask. So there are certain people that can help musicians. A doc in the box is not it, I'm sorry. Usually overall, that person is not gonna help you. They don't understand. I've been told four times by doctors, you just need to quit playing. That is a lazy, ignorant answer and none of us have to accept that nor should we but there is a referral network of people i don't i don't get anything from this but i want to give you a huge list of who do i turn to when i have this problem this problem or this problem this is how you can find the right person for what you're dealing with or your colleagues what if you're on the road and your bandmate has got numbness or tingling in his fingers do you see a neurologist do you see a sports med? Do you see an NKT practitioner? What does NKT mean, okay? We just usually go to urgent care and they're gonna try to give us a pill or a shot or whatever. It's not always the right course of action. So we're gonna be proactive, active and retroactive. We're gonna do all of those things. So once again, this is the plan to get you the fitness you want. So if you have uh, lack of stamina, you want endurance. These are the three things we do. If you are clueless about what to do, you need clarity and guidance. These are the three things. And again, if you have injury or recurring injury or you want to avoid injury, you want to be injury free, right? These are the three things you need to know to get there. So if you'd like some help with this, uh, I'm starting a group. Actually, I'm starting 
a new group this month to address those very things to help musicians avoid injury. I just told you all those things. So if you want some help with this, I'm starting a new group this month. I'd love to have you join. And, and actually, it's not for everybody. So if you want some more information, awesome. So if you want to find out more, all I need you to do is comment fitness, because that's our goal, right? I could say music strong, but comment fitness below this video. I'll get you all the details. So thanks, guys. Totally appreciate you being here. Stay music strong. <laughs>